Have you ever found yourself waking up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. feeling a little groggy, perhaps a bit disoriented? Well, let me tell you, you're not alone and you're certainly not abnormal. In fact, there's a deeper meaning to this phenomenon that I'd love to share with you today. You see, waking up between these early morning hours is more than just a random occurrence. It's a message from your body, your mind, and your soul. It's a gentle nudge from the universe, urging you to pay attention, to listen closely to what your inner self is trying to communicate. Now, you may be wondering, what does it all mean? Well, let me share with you the wisdom that I've gathered through years of studying the mind-body connection and the teachings of love and healing. You know, in the lessons I share, I always talk about how our bodies reflect what's going on inside us. So, when you wake up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m., it's not just random. Your body is trying to tell you something important. It's like a little alarm bell ringing saying, hey, there's something going on inside that needs your attention. Think of it this way. Every ache, pain, or strange sensation is like a message from your inner self. It's telling you that there might be some emotions, thoughts, or energies bubbling under the surface that you need to deal with. Maybe there's a worry that's been keeping you up at night, or a feeling of unease that you've been trying to ignore. Whatever it is, waking up during these early hours is your body's way of saying, hey, let's take a closer look at what's going on inside. Now, let's dive deeper into what these specific hours represent. In the early hours of the morning, the world is quiet, still, and serene. It's a time when our subconscious mind is most active, when our innermost thoughts and feelings rise to the surface. Waking up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. can make you feel anxious, worried, or restless. It's like your mind is trying to tell you something important. Maybe there are things in your life that need fixing or healing. Sometimes we ignore our problems or push them aside during the day. But at night, when everything is quiet, our subconscious mind speaks up. It wants us to pay attention to the things we've been avoiding or the emotions we've been hiding. Perhaps there's a situation at work or in your personal life that's been causing you stress, or maybe there's a dream or goal that you've been neglecting. Whatever it is, waking up during these early hours is a sign that it's time to address these issues. Think of it as your inner alarm clock, reminding you to take care of yourself and your well-being. Instead of ignoring these feelings, try to listen to what your mind and body are telling you. Take some time to reflect on your thoughts and emotions. Ask yourself why you're feeling anxious or worried. Is there something specific that's been bothering you? Are there any unresolved conflicts or emotions that you need to address? By acknowledging these feelings and addressing the underlying issues, you can start to find peace and resolution. It might not happen overnight, but taking small steps towards healing can make a big difference in the long run. For example, if you find yourself waking up consistently at 4 a.m., it may be a sign that there are unresolved emotions or conflicts weighing on your heart. Perhaps there's a fear or worry that's been lingering in the background, waiting to be acknowledged and released. But fear not, for this is not a time for despair or worry. Instead, it's an opportunity for growth, for self-reflection, and for healing. It's a chance to tune into your inner wisdom, to listen to the whispers of your soul, and to take positive action towards greater peace and wholeness. So, what can you do if you find yourself waking up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m.? Well, first and foremost, listen to your body. Pay attention to the thoughts and emotions that arise during these early morning hours. Journaling can be a powerful tool for uncovering hidden truths and gaining clarity. Secondly, let's talk about the importance of practicing self-love and self-compassion. It's essential to understand that you are truly beautiful inside and out. You deserve all the love and healing that life has to offer. 
Sometimes we forget this simple truth, especially when facing challenges or setbacks. But in those moments, it's crucial to treat yourself with kindness and gentleness. Imagine yourself as a delicate flower, deserving of care and nurturing. Just like a flower needs sunlight and water to thrive, you need love and compassion to flourish. So take a moment each day to remind yourself of your worthiness. Look in the mirror and say, I am beautiful. I am deserving of love and happiness. Self-compassion means being gentle with yourself, especially when times are tough. It's okay to make mistakes or to feel overwhelmed at times. Instead of being hard on yourself, offer yourself the same kindness and understanding that you would give to a friend in need. When faced with challenges, trust in your inner strength and resilience. You have overcome obstacles before and you can do it again. Believe in yourself and your ability to navigate through any storm that comes your way. Think of yourself as a warrior equipped with courage and determination. No matter how difficult the journey may seem, know that you have the power within you to overcome any challenge. Each obstacle you face is an opportunity for growth and transformation. Practice self-care regularly to nourish your mind, body, and soul. Take time to do things that bring you joy and relaxation. Whether it's taking a long bath, going for a walk in nature, or simply curling up with a good book, prioritize activities that replenish your spirit. Surround yourself with positivity and support. Seek out friends and loved ones who uplift and encourage you. Share your struggles and triumphs with them, knowing that you are not alone on this journey. And lastly, it's important to believe in the magic of affirmations and positive thoughts. Affirmations are like little messages we tell ourselves to make us feel good. They're super powerful. They can change the way we see things and make our lives better. When you say affirmations, you're telling yourself good things about you. You're saying stuff like, I am worthy, I am strong, or I can heal. These words are like seeds that you plant in your mind. And guess what? They grow into big, beautiful flowers of confidence and happiness. Imagine this. Every time you say, I am worthy, it's like giving yourself a warm hug. It reminds you that you matter, that you're important, and that you deserve all the good things in life. And when you believe in your worthiness, amazing things start to happen. Then there's, I am strong. When you repeat these words, you're telling yourself that you can handle anything life throws at you. You're like a superhero, ready to face any challenge with bravery and courage. And you know what? You really are strong. You've got so much inner strength just waiting to be unleashed. And let's not forget, I can heal. This affirmation is like a Feel the warmth of gratitude spreading through every cell of your being. Visualize your day unfolding beautifully, filled with joy, abundance, and success. Affirm to yourself that everything will go well and that you will enjoy every moment of it. All right, now it's time to talk about meditation. This is something really special that you can do for yourself. It's like giving yourself a present of peace and calmness. So find a cozy spot, sit down comfortably, and let's get started. Close your eyes gently and take a deep breath in, then let it out slowly. Feel yourself becoming more relaxed with each breath. Now, bring your focus to your breath. Notice the way it feels as it enters your body and fills your lungs and then notice how it feels as you exhale and release the air. As you continue to breathe deeply, you might notice that thoughts start to pop into your mind. That's totally normal. Don't worry about it. Instead, just let those thoughts come and go, like clouds passing by in the sky. You don't have to chase after them or hold on to them. Just let them drift away on their own. You are like a quiet observer just watching the thoughts float by without getting caught up in them. 
This is your time to simply be present in the moment without judgment or expectation. You might find that the more you practice this, the easier it becomes to let go of distracting thoughts and focus on your breath. Sometimes it can be helpful to imagine yourself sitting by a calm, peaceful lake. Each thought that comes into your mind is like a ripple on the surface of the water. Instead of trying to stop the ripples, just let them fade away on their own, leaving behind a smooth, still surface. There's no right or wrong way to meditate. Simply allow yourself to be present in the moment. Ask yourself, what is it I need to know? Trust that the answers will come when the time is right. Meditation is a practice of surrendering to the wisdom within you. Another form of meditation is to focus on your breath. With each inhale, count one. With each exhale, count two. Continue counting up to ten and then start again. If your mind wanders, gently bring it back to your breath. This practice helps to calm the mind and center your energy. Consistency is key. Start with just a few minutes of meditation each day and gradually increase the duration as you become more comfortable. You'll soon discover the profound peace and clarity that meditation brings to your life. Now let's talk about affirmations. Affirmations are powerful statements that program your mind for success. Take one or two affirmations that resonate with you and write them down 10 or 20 times a day. Read them aloud with enthusiasm and conviction. Make a song out of your affirmations and sing them with joy. Let these positive words permeate your consciousness throughout the day. Consistently used affirmations become beliefs and beliefs shape your reality. I have witnessed the incredible power of affirmations in my own life. One of my beliefs is that I always have good relationships with my landlord. When I decided to move to California, I affirmed that all my possessions would sell easily and quickly, and the move would be simple. To my amazement, everything fell into place effortlessly. My landlord even offered to buy my furniture and wrote me a glowing letter of recommendation. By consistently affirming my desired outcomes, I was able to manifest them with ease. Let's talk about visualization, a really amazing tool for making your dreams come true. Visualization is like making a movie in your mind where you imagine yourself living the life you've always wanted. Here's how it works. Every day, take a few minutes to close your eyes and picture yourself achieving your goals. Maybe you want to ace a test, get a promotion at work, or even buy your dream house. Whatever it is, imagine it happening in vivid detail. See yourself succeeding, feeling happy, and surrounded by all the things you desire. Imagine the sights, the sounds, and even the smells of your dream life. Picture yourself smiling, laughing, and celebrating your accomplishments. The more detailed you can make your visualization, the more powerful it becomes. Imagine every little aspect of your dream life, from the clothes you're wearing to the people you're with. The more real it feels, the more likely it is to come true. But visualization isn't just about imagining the end result. It's also about feeling the emotions that come with success. Imagine how it feels to achieve your goals, to overcome obstacles, and to live the life you've always dreamed of. Visualizing your dreams helps to program your subconscious mind for success. It's like telling your brain, this is what I want, so let's make it happen. And when your subconscious is on board, it starts working behind the scenes to make your dreams a reality. Imagine every detail with vivid clarity and feel the emotions as if it's already happening. Your subconscious mind cannot distinguish between what is real and what is imagined. By visualizing your dreams, you plant the seeds of creation in the fertile soil of your subconscious. Let's take a moment to dive deeper into the wonderful world of gratitude. Gratitude, simply put, means being thankful 
for the good things in your life. It's like saying, thank you for the gifts you receive, whether big or small. When you take a moment each day to appreciate what you have, something magical happens. Gratitude is like a magnet that attracts more good things into your life. It's like planting seeds of positivity that grow into beautiful flowers of abundance. Imagine waking up every morning and taking a moment to think about all the good things in your life. It could be as simple as having a roof over your head, food on your table, or friends who care about you. When you acknowledge these blessings, you invite even more blessings into your life. Gratitude is a powerful force that can transform your entire perspective. Instead of focusing on what you lack, you shift your focus to what you already have. And when you do that, you'll start to notice more and more blessings all around you. Expressing gratitude doesn't have to be complicated. It can be as simple as saying, thank you for the little things that make you smile. Maybe it's a beautiful sunset, a kind gesture from a stranger, or a hug from a loved one. By acknowledging these moments of joy, you're amplifying their impact on your life. Gratitude also has the power to improve your relationships. When you express appreciation for the people in your life, you strengthen your connection with them. It's like telling them, hey, I see you and I'm grateful to have you in my life. As you cultivate an attitude of gratitude, you attract more things to be grateful for. The universe responds to the energy you emit. When you radiate gratitude, you magnetize blessings into your life. So, I encourage you to incorporate these practices into your daily routine. Start your day with gratitude. Meditate to center your mind. Affirm your desires with conviction. Visualize your dreams with clarity. And express gratitude for all that you have. Consistency is key. The more you practice these rituals, the more they will become ingrained in your subconscious mind. Before you know it, you'll be living the life of your dreams, filled with joy, abundance, and success. Love. Self-love is like giving yourself a big hug from the inside. It means treating yourself with kindness and compassion, just like you would treat a friend. Now, why is self-love so important? Because you are amazing just the way you are. You are worthy of all the good things in life. Love, happiness, success, you name it. When you truly believe in your worthiness, incredible things start to happen. Imagine this. You wake up in the morning, look in the mirror, and say, I love you, to yourself. How would that make you feel? Pretty awesome, right? That's because self-love is like sunshine for your soul. It brightens up your day and fills you with warmth and happiness. When you love yourself, you send out a powerful message to the universe. You're saying, I deserve the best. And guess what? The universe agrees. It wants to shower you with blessings and miracles. But it can only do that when you believe you're worthy. Now, I know loving yourself isn't always easy. Sometimes, we're our own toughest critics. We focus on our flaws instead of celebrating our strengths. But here's the thing. You are not your mistakes, your shortcomings, or your imperfections. You are a unique and wonderful being deserving of love and respect. So, how can you practice self-love? Start by being kind to yourself. Treat yourself with the same love and compassion you would show to a friend. Take care of your body, mind, and spirit. Eat nourishing food, get plenty of rest, and do things that bring you joy. Next, practice positive self-talk. Instead of criticizing yourself, try saying kind and encouraging words. Tell yourself you're doing the best you can and that you're worthy of love and happiness. Remember, the way you talk to yourself matters, so be gentle and supportive. In my literature, I often talk about the power of affirmations. Affirmations are simple statements that we repeat to ourselves to shift our beliefs and thoughts. For example, you might say, I am worthy of love and abundance, or 
I am capable of achieving my dreams. But it's not just about saying the words, it's about feeling them deep within your soul. When you say your affirmations with conviction and belief, your mind begins to accept them as truth. And when your mind believes, the universe responds in kind. Now, let's take a moment to dive into the wonderful world of gratitude. Gratitude is like saying thank you to the universe. It's when you feel thankful for the good things in your life, big or small. Imagine you're holding a basket and every time you say thank you, you're adding a beautiful flower to it. Why is gratitude so amazing? Well, it's like a magic wand that attracts even more good stuff to you. When you appreciate what you have, you're telling the universe, hey, I love this, give me more. And guess what? The universe listens. It loves to shower you with blessings when you show gratitude. Think about it this way. Have you ever noticed that when you're grateful, you feel happy? It's like a warm, fuzzy feeling inside your heart. That's because gratitude fills you up with joy and contentment. It's like wrapping yourself in a cozy blanket on a chilly day. But here's the best part. Gratitude isn't just about feeling good. It's about making magic happen. When you're thankful for what you have, you create a positive energy that ripples out into the world. It's like sending out little love notes to the universe, and in return, the universe sends you even more love. So how do you practice gratitude? It's easy peasy. You can start by saying thank you for the things you have right now. Maybe it's your favorite toy, a delicious meal, or a sunny day. Whatever it is, take a moment to appreciate it. You can also keep a gratitude journal. Every day, write down three things you're thankful for. It could be something as simple as a hug from a friend or a funny joke that made you laugh. By focusing on the good stuff, you'll attract even more goodness into your life. And don't forget to say thank you to the people around you. Whether it's your mom, your teacher, or your pet hamster, let them know how much you appreciate them. A little gratitude goes a long way in making someone's day brighter. Take a moment each day to count your blessings, no matter how small they may seem. Whether it's a beautiful sunset, a warm cup of tea, or the love of a friend, there is always something to be grateful for. And lastly, I'd like to emphasize the incredible power of visualization. Now what's visualization? It's like making a movie in your head. You create a picture in your mind of what you want. Let's say you dream of becoming a great artist. Close your eyes and see yourself painting your masterpiece. Feel the paintbrush in your hand, smell the paint, and see the colors on the canvas. Why is this important? Because when you imagine yourself reaching your goals, something magical happens. You tell your brain what you want and it listens. Your brain doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's imagined. So when you vividly picture your success, your brain thinks it's already happening. And that's not all. When you add emotion to your visualization, it's like adding fuel to a fire. Feel the excitement, the joy, and the pride as you see yourself achieving your dreams. Your emotions are like magnets attracting your desires to you. But here's the thing, visualization isn't just about seeing yourself succeed. It's about believing it with all your heart. You have to believe that your dreams are possible, that you deserve them, and that you're capable of making them a reality. So every day, take a few moments to visualize your goals. Close your eyes, see yourself living your dream life, and feel the happinesses bubbling inside you. The more you practice, the more real it will feel. And soon enough, you'll start to see evidence of your dreams coming true in your life. Visualization is a powerful tool that can help you overcome obstacles and achieve your goals. But remember, it's not enough to just imagine us, but it's necessary for your growth and evolution. 
Embrace this opportunity to let go of the past and step into the fullness of who you are meant to be. Trust that the universe is guiding you towards your highest good. Another great way to tap into your inner guidance is through meditation. Meditation is like taking a break for your mind. It's a special time when you can sit quietly, let go of all your worries, and just be still. During meditation, you can connect with your inner wisdom and intuition. These are the parts of you that know what's best for you and can guide you in the right direction. They're like your inner GPS, helping you navigate through life's twists and turns. To meditate, find a quiet place where you won't be disturbed. Sit or lie down in a comfortable position, close your eyes, and take a few deep breaths to relax your body and mind. As you breathe, let go of any tension or stress you may be holding on to. Imagine all your worries melting away like snowflakes in the sun. Feel yourself becoming lighter and more peaceful with each breath you take. Once you feel relaxed, focus your attention inward. Pay attention to the sensations in your body, the thoughts in your mind, and the feelings in your heart. Notice any thoughts or emotions that arise, but don't judge them or try to push them away. Just let them come and go like clouds passing through the sky. As you continue to breathe deeply and stay present, you may start to feel a sense of calm and clarity washing over you. This is your inner wisdom and intuition speaking to you. It may come in the form of subtle insights, gut feelings, or flashes of inspiration. Most importantly, make it a habit to be thankful for the journey you're on. Each moment you experience, whether it feels good or not so good, is like a present that teaches you something important and helps you become better. Gratitude is about saying thank you for all the things you have, whether they're big or small. It's about appreciating the good things in your life and finding reasons to be thankful even when things don't seem to be going your way. When you practice gratitude, you shift your focus from what's missing or wrong to what's present and right. You start to notice all the blessings and opportunities that surround you, even in challenging times. Take a moment each day to think about what you're grateful for. It could be something as simple as the warmth of the sun on your face, the smile of a loved one, or the food on your table. Write down three things you're thankful for every day and you'll start to see how much goodness there is in your life. Gratitude isn't just about being thankful for the good things. It's also about finding the silver lining in difficult situations. When something doesn't go as planned or you face a setback, try to see it as an opportunity for growth and learning. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this experience? How can it help me become a better person? Even in the midst of challenges, there are always things to be grateful for. Maybe the setback taught you to be more resilient, or it brought you closer to someone who offered support and encouragement. Find the lessons and blessings in every experience, and you'll cultivate a mindset of gratitude that can transform your life. Imagine the life you want with a clear picture in your mind. Picture yourself living in a world full of good things, happiness, and feeling satisfied. Understand that this dream is something you can make real. Visualizing means creating a mental image of what you want your life to look like. Close your eyes and see yourself living in your dream home, surrounded by loved ones, doing work you love, and enjoying every moment of your life. Feel the emotions of joy, gratitude, and contentment as if it's already happening. Believe that the life you're imagining is possible for you. Trust that you have the power to turn your dreams into reality. Know that you deserve to live a life of abundance, happiness, and fulfillment. Visualizing your ideal life helps you clarify your goals and desires. When you can clearly see what you want, 
you're more likely to take the necessary steps to achieve it. Your vision becomes a guidepost for making decisions and taking action in alignment with your dreams. Set aside time each day to visualize your desired life. Find a quiet, comfortable space where you won't be interrupted and allow yourself to fully immerse in the experience. Use all your senses to make the visualization as vivid and real as possible. As you visualize, focus on the positive aspects of your life and the feelings of joy and fulfillment they bring. Let go of any doubts or fears that may arise and replace them with confidence and belief in yourself. Lastly, it's time to take action that fills your heart with inspiration and purpose. Start by setting clear goals for yourself, outlining the steps you need to take to achieve them. Whether it's starting a new project, pursuing a passion, or making positive changes in your life, every action you take brings you closer to your dreams. Believe in the power of the universe to guide and support you along your journey. Trust that as you align your actions with your intentions, the universe conspires to help you succeed. Keep faith in yourself and in the divine timing of your path. Even when faced with challenges or setbacks, know that they are merely detours on your road to greatness. Stay open to receiving guidance and opportunities from unexpected sources. Sometimes the universe speaks to us through synchronicities, chance encounters, or intuitive nudges. Pay attention to these signs and follow where they lead you. Remember, the universe has your back and it's always working in your favor. As you take inspired action, stay grounded in the present moment. Focus on what you can do right now to move closer to your goals, rather than worrying about the future or dwelling on the past. Take each step with mindfulness and intention, knowing that every small action contributes to the bigger picture of your life's journey. Be persistent and resilient in the face of challenges. Understand that setbacks are opportunities for growth and learning. Instead of giving up when things get tough, use them as fuel to propel you forward. Trust in your own abilities and in the wisdom of the universe to guide you through any obstacles that come your way. Celebrate your progress along the way, no matter how small. Each step forward is a victory worth acknowledging. Take time to acknowledge your achievements and express gratitude for how far you've come. Cultivate a mindset of abundance and appreciation, knowing that the universe rewards those who are grateful for their blessings. So, as you come closer to the shift, embrace the changes that unfold in your life. Trust that these unfamiliar things are guiding you towards your highest good and greatest potential. 